How's it going guys, James96 here back with another episode of the Cave-In series. Yes, we are back, we're at the Stronghold and we're going to be doing some exploring today. But first, I'm going to be a little teasy and I'm going to make you wait slightly longer. We're going to make the long journey back to drop off some stuff because if you look, we've got a full inventory which isn't a good place to start exploring with. So yeah, I'm just going to drop off some stuff. And I thought I'd show you just how far we actually travelled in the end last episode guys because it's a long, long way. And I mean a long way. It's not something that you can just uh, do right at the start. It's something that you really need to decide, uh, you really need to work up towards. And I probably wouldn't recommend doing it exactly how I did, all in one stint. Because as you saw from the last episode, that took ages. That was 90 minutes, which I then condensed down and did a time lapse with, which I think you all seem to enjoy, which is good, because it took me a lot of time to edit that. So I'm glad that everyone appreciated it, which is awesome. I'm going to try and multitask here and get my timer up because I've realised that once again I've forgotten my timer. Right, that's going. Good, so hopefully I should uh, be able to keep on track with this episode. Uh, this is a long way as you can tell. I mean, look at it so far. Uh, I'm not sprint jumping because I don't want to... Well, I'll do a bit of sprint jumping. Try to speed up a bit. But it's a long old way. Right, let's eat some food. I'm on melons at the moment because that seems to be the only food I have easily available. We're almost at the end now. It's just through here. So if we then go through here and then you can see the end just coming up now just above where my crosshair is. Right there. Right. So all we're going to do first is dump off a load of stuff and we're going to get rid of this silverfish sword from my inventory so I don't get tempted to use it because it is horrible. Uh, it's a devilish thing. I can't believe they are uh, can't believe they did that. Just so mean. Right, let's actually try that that way so that we're not wasting it. I know we've got loads of cobblestone, but uh, still, don't really want to waste any. Seems a bit pointless to waste it. Yeah, I'm not sure if we have both of our named chickens still because I, I don't know if you saw in the time lapse, but some of the chicken, there was a chicken, there was a dead chicken in one of these hoppers that was breaking the door from working properly. Well, I can't seem to... F oh, there they are. They're all collecting in here. So we got at least one with a name. We got Chuck has left. I think we might have lost Chad or whatever the other one's name was. So, yeah, we may have to replace that at some point. But let's continue on. we got stuff to be doing today. Everyone wants to see the stronghold. So let's give you what you want. All right. That's all sorted. Right. So let's get some stuff in there. We've got a bit more coal now so we can afford to smelt some stuff up, which is nice. Because that was a bit of an issue before, as you can see by all of this stuff. Oh, did that the wrong way around. Let's put that in there. And let's grab the rest of the gold, put that in there. I don't know how many I need now. Let's just go for that. That should be enough. And we're going to put, uh, what is it? Six? Yeah, let's do six. That'll do. Right, and then we'll drop off some coal stone. I've kind of just dumped stuff all over the place because all of my chests are filling up. If you look, all well, I've just taken some iron out. But yeah, all of my chests are starting to fill up with stuff. So this chest down here is full of goodies. So at the moment, I've just been dumping it in here until I can be bothered to organise it all. So yeah, we'll just dump everything that we need to organise in this chest. We'll need the bread. Uh, this can all go. We'll keep the coal. Uh, this can definitely go in there. And these... And yeah, that should be pretty much that. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to grab some emeralds because I'm going to do a quick bit of enchanting. We are going to find the cleric and buy a bit of lapis off him. If I can bother you for a second there. Thank you. 14, that'll do. That should give us enough to do some basic enchanting with because I want to hopefully enchant my diamond sword today and also beef up my armor because during that uh, mining expedition we got 12 diamonds now 12 will get us we need to leave one aside for jukebox I think I still haven't checked that I need to check that so what can we make we could make trousers and boots and then we'd leave the helmet uh, yeah let's do that so we'll make leggings and we will make boots 
and we're going to go enchant. So hopefully we'll get some good enchants. Let's go over and see what we get. I'm feeling lucky, but you never know what to expect. It's very luck of the draw kind of situation. But anyway, right, let's go. Let's chuck it. What does the sword offer us? Not about two, not very good. Fire protection, that could be all right. I'm breaking free. Uh, decisions. I'm breaking free is pretty good. I mean, to be fair, just as long as it's lasting. Let's do the boots. Something else maybe? No, just I'm breaking free. Just my luck. Oh, well, it's better than nothing. Let's... Check this. Sharpness 3 will take. That'll do. Sharpness 3, not back 2. Uh, not brilliant, but it's not terrible at the same time. And lastly, yeah, we'll try unbreaking 3 again. See if we get something else on it. Just unbreaking. Wow. We got quite unlucky with those enchants again, but I didn't want to spend too much time on it. The point is, we're in full diamond armor now, except for the headpiece, which is the important thing. So, let's go head back and we can continue. Let's use the witch wand to save some time. We're going to be doing quite a lot of travelling around today, so we need to be fairly quick. Right, let's go back over here. Got a stick there. Have I got any more sticks? Or am I going to need to get some sticks as well? I could have sworn I had some sticks. Ah, oh, we've got some wood though. We'll use the wood. We might need the wood to make sticks. Um, And we've got some coal. Alright, let's dump the... What else can we dump? We can dump this off. We can dump... Emeralds and the lapis off, and we can dump the diamond off. Then <laughs> we don't need a saddle on us, and we shouldn't need a bucket, but we'll keep the bucket just in case we need it for something. Um, and we'll keep the crafting table. So, 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 what else do I need? Let's make ourselves a diamond, not diamond, we don't <laughs> have the diamonds to be able to do that. Let's make ourselves an iron pick. Just check it, I don't have one. Yeah, iron pick and a iron headpiece because we've got the iron to be able to do that now. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So let's do that. Sorry, I know I'm just teasing you a bit. I know you want to see the stronghold, but I'm sure you can wait just a little bit, you know. Keep you waiting. I'm nice like that. Right, and then a headpiece. And then bang, bang. All right, I think we are about ready to go. Maybe we should get a little bit more food. That's a serious thing that I probably do need. So. What food, do we have any food sort of ready to eat? The answer is probably no to that. Although what I could do is grab some carrots. Carrots are pretty good for food. And they won't take too long to, you know, prep and everything. So yeah, let's grab carrots. Lots and lots of carrots. Yeah, look at all of those. Good. Loads of carrots. Loads. Right. Okay. And we, might, we might as well grab them all and then rather than replanting as well now which will <laughs> take a bit of time we'll just save what a stack uh yeah we'll leave a stack behind which may not be quite enough but i can always regrow them it won't take too long so although to be fair i probably don't want what that much on me anyway so let's leave two stacks behind right anyway let's get going back over to the stronghold now to start with the episode so uh, let's start going over. Whilst we're going over, we'll do a bit of chatting about different things. Uh, hopefully, it'll be slightly quicker to get back this time as well, because we'll just sprint jump the whole way there. And we're lighter because we've got less stuff on us. Yes, that is surely a thing. No. But yeah, um, thank you very much for the support on the last episode, guys. It's got a lot of views very quickly, which is great to see. Lots of uh, some nice comments on it as well, which is good. Uh, it was trying something new, which I hadn't tried before, which was uh, messing around with doing sort of different speed time lapsing. So uh, basically what I would do is if there wasn't much going on, I would ramp the speed up to quite high. And if there was something interesting, I'd ramp the speed back down to just slightly quicker than normal speed so that you could still see what was going on. And that was pretty much what I worked off. And then I just got some uh, music to play in the background, which everyone seemed to... Uh, like what I picked out so that's good to see because obviously you don't know what everyone's going to like so trying to base it off sort of personal experience what I tend to like listening to when I'm watching a time lapse but yeah all seems good it's good to see that you guys are enjoying it so far and uh, obviously I'm going to take this opportunity here to just remind you that of course if you are enjoying the series then please don't forget to leave a like on the episode it really helps out makes me 
uh, keeps me motivated, keeps me going, and also subscribing is another great thing that you can do, which, you know, just keeps my channel growing, gives me opportunities in the future and all sorts. I'm almost on 50 subscribers now uh, at the time of recording this. I may have already passed it by the time that this one comes out because I'm pre-recording this slightly. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, and, yeah, we're back at the stronghold. So, let's get started on the exploring front. I don't really know the best way to explore it, so I'm just going to... Oh, I didn't pick up any cobblestone, which was an issue. But, oh, well, learn from your mistakes. We'll go this way instead, then. And we'll just run around here. I want to be fairly quick, because I imagine it's a fairly big stronghold. It's just a guess, but, you know, it probably is. Um, well, strongholds are pretty big anyway, normally, aren't they? That's some imagining things. We're just going around in circles here. We need to go through that way. Um, let's grab some blocks. <laughs> this will be interesting to see. But, yeah, last episode, great response, so keep it up. Again, definitely... Uh, leave a comment if you've got something that you want to say because I do read the, all of the comments and I do respond to pretty much all of them. Yeah, sometimes I'm a little bit slower than normal, but yeah, I try and respond to all of them. And we found our first chest, so what's in it? Six coal. Whoa, to be fair, that would have been very helpful last episode. I spent ages looking for coal. <laughs> it's almost like that's a tease that I found coal like that, actually. So yeah, that's slightly annoying, but yeah, let's keep on going. Coal is always useful though, so you can't really complain too much. Oh, another chest. Two more diamonds, perfect. We could always enchant another sword if we want to. Or we could do a headpiece. I mean, it's to bedrock slash mining area. Okay. Uh, we might as well check that out. Let's go up here. Oh, this looks like a long old staircase. Let's blast on up it by uh, using our witch wand. We're going right up near the surface here. Wow. Oh, right up to the surface. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. To home. Okay. you got to bear in mind now we're quite near the end game sort of stuff. So, yeah, it looks like this could be some end game stuff right here. So, let's have a look around. I'm just going to light it up a bit so that you can all see what's going on. This looks really cool. This looks like some kind of machine. Right. Stand clear while excavator is in motion. Oh, it is a machine. There you go. We got it right. Glass is not pure enough. I need a better material. Okay. Uh, let's imagine. Yeah. Okay. So we got some redstone materials. That's awesome. Never say no to some redstone materials. Laser excavator. All right. We've got another book to read. Entry one. When worse comes to worse, fall back on good old engineering. I've been doing some major upgrades to my excavator machine. It was pretty clear from the beginning that even the hardest alloy drill bits wouldn't stand up to bedrock. However, it seems pretty clear from my geological experiments that bedrock actually forms from lava. Surprised. I was, but everything has a metamorphic past, I suppose. Oh, very big word. Entry 2. Well, I gave the matter some thought, and I'm pretty sure if bedrock comes from lava, there must be a way to reverse the process. Bedrock once formed once formed is notoriously stable, but it could stand but could it stand up to 10,000 centigrade? Probably not, which is exactly why I've been working on a laser focusing apparatus. I'll need a proper focusing crystal plus a reflector containment tube to strengthen and orient, orient the beam. Any good reflective block should do the trick. Frustratingly, these materials are hard to build from scratch. I've been trying to craft the necessary tools, but without success so far. This would be simple if I only had my tools from my lab. But alas, all that is gone for now. All that is gone. For now. <laughs> I'll continue looking into possible materials, but I've found the perfect spot to drill through. My instruments have detected a weaker part of the bedrock, and I've moved my uh, excavator to the location. Entry 3. Well, I've since built the containment tube. I chose gold as it is the most reflective material. Rare, but several weeks of trading... Supplies to the pigmen was enough to guarantee a steady supply of it. For power, I've used my best furnaces. I believe if I fire all simultaneously, I can generate enough heat to generate 10,000 volts of electricity using my, my thermoelectric cell. So the last problem is the focusing crystal, and I just cannot find a pure enough substance. It needs a very fine subatomic structure. 
one that I don't really have the time, uh, the tools to refine. I believe it's possible, but I'm going to need a very pure natural substance to start with. To start with, a strange black skull I picked up today while researching blazes shows some promise. It seems of very fine crystalline structure, but I'll need even more to construct the focusing crystal and the power and power the laser. I think I'm going to transition to dimensional research for a time, as things are looking promising in this area. The witches have agreed to help me form a stable portal to my new dimension. I'm anxious to visit and see if a way to home opens from there. Archimedes. Right, so by the sounds of it, he's referring to a uh, beacon there. So it sounds like something to do with this and needing a beacon and then some stuff to do with the furnaces. Alright, so that's definitely like the last part of the game. So that's good to read, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Well, I don't want it to, I don't want to be quite there yet. We're going to keep going. Uh, we need to go back down, which is going to be a bit of a pain. Because, see, why not just make this staircase one block higher? Go on, you know you want to. Because now I'm banging my head every single time. I'm going to have a very sore head by the end of this. I'm going to pick up some carrots as well so I can multitask. Good, right, that's sorted. Okay, let's get down and probably right down to here. Okay, let's keep on exploring for now. That's a good book to find, but like I said, that's very end game material. We've still got quite a few challenges to go. So, there you go, we'll keep going. Right, oh. Oh, look at that. It's nice having a good sword at last. I can take that kind of stuff. I can deal with that kind of damage rather. I'm not a big fan of knockback though. Knockback is quite an annoying enchant because they just knock things, especially like skeletons, they just knock them further away from you, which isn't very helpful to be honest. Right, let's get some more torches going. We're going to be fighting a constant battle with torches, aren't we? I can tell. Oh, we got a button there, let's hit the button. Just a bit of lava, I assume there's nothing else here. I wouldn't, yeah, there's nothing else there, surely. And if there is, you can tell me in the comments if you know. <laughs> but yeah, we'll carry on going. Uh, nothing in those cells. We'll carry on this way. I'll try and keep this as light as possible whilst I'm going around. And yeah, we'll go this way maybe. Oh, we get through? Yep. It's very hard to navigate these strongholds. So I'm basing it basically off where I put torches. I know I've been. Because there aren't really any naturally spawning torches in strongholds. Does this go anywhere? I swear these sometimes go somewhere, but maybe not. Oh, there is something through there. That was a bit of a stab in the dark, but yeah, we'll take it. Can we get in somewhere? Oh, we're somewhere. Oh, hello. Yeah, you can die. Alright, yeah, we've already been here. So, let's keep exploring around. See if we can find some more stuff. We haven't found the end portal yet, which is the main reason I came over here, was to find it so that we knew what was here. But it's interesting to see that there is some other stuff here as well. I did assume there would be, because I was thinking it's the only logical way that I could think of finding the sort of end game content, was that it must be something to do with the thing, and also... A little bit from the forums, because obviously some people like to let you know what they're getting up to, which is great. It's lovely to see what everyone's doing, but obviously I do get a few, couple of spoilers, which is fine. I'm used to it. It's all good. All right, we need to make some more torches. Let's just do that. And we are out of coal. Damn it. All right, so we haven't got many torches left, so hopefully... I almost don't want there to be too much more to explore. Otherwise, we're going to have to start being more careful of our torch placement. Back up to 30 levels, which is nice. Alright, so we've been here. So let's go this way. And try and get into this, and hopefully this is something new. No, we've been here as well. So where's the rest of this area, then? Must be around. I'm trying to think where to go. Me and my... Dire sense of direction isn't going to help here at all. We're going to need to uh, have a look around and see what we find. But it's not going to be a quick process <laughs> at all. Right. 
Oh, we haven't gone this way. Whoa. Okay, so we were here before, and if we'd gone just down here, we would have found something else. We'll go that way in a sec. So, that's to the bed. Oh, we were right here before, weren't we? Yeah, we went right here, and we didn't look this way. Okay, that's fine. We'll go this way now. You're not named zombie, are you? No. Okay, so, this is not part of normal generation of a stronghold. So, we got carrots growing. We've got a library. We've got potatoes growing. Okay, so this is pretty cool, pretty cool. I do like the fact that they've done some custom generation in this uh, stronghold. Really adds to it. It's nice to have a library without a load of uh, a load of cobwebs as well. Just a few. Just a sensible amount, I'd say. Alright, so we've got a chest up here with a bunch of paper in it. We're running out of space in our inventory very quickly, so we're probably going to have to do a couple of trips uh, eventually to move stuff around. Slime balls, which is awesome. I've got some stuff which I might be able to do with slime balls, so that's awesome that we got some more. Because I did find a couple the other day, I don't know if I showed, but yeah, got some more now. Got some never wart <laughs> teasing me again after our struggles getting never wart when we were looking for that. Some food, awesome. Uh, I'll take the carrots now, seems I need them. And books and quills and another book right hopefully this one's not got too much in it but let's check it out personal records entry one that's another 14 pager right entry one the records of Archimedes what was uh, sorry well it's been at least a few weeks since I fell into this interesting place scholars have often theorized what lay below the bedrock but I believe I am the first to actually observe the place it's not much to look at really just more caves I've noticed the geology is a bit different and there are far more hostile creatures, but one expects such things in a place that has never seen man before. I would have recorded my observations sooner, however it took quite some time to figure out how I could obtain paper. I now have ample supply, though am short on bindings. Binding. I've had to switch to a new material. I must begin documenting this at once. This is an opportunity of a lifetime, a lifetime opportunity. Entry two. Well, I've lost track of time. It's hard to keep tr keep up with that when you cannot see the sun. This place is beginning to wear on even my nerves now after, what is it? A few months in the dark? In any case, my tests have shown quite a lot of about the nature of this place and I'm excited to get back and share with my fellow scientists first-hand observations of what lies beneath the Earth's crust. Unfortunately, every excavation trip ends in failure. The bedrock blocks every attempt. It seems the very same barrier that kept man out for, uh, for kept man now <laughs> out now keeps man in. I'm not desperate yet, but I'm anxious to get home. It's been a long time since I've seen the sky. Entry two. This is ridiculous. I know we've never succeeded in breaking through the barrier before from above, but there must be a way. There must be some way. I've tried TNT, drilling, fire, ice. I even had my excavator going for several days, but not a scratch showed. In a moment of desperation, I even lured a creeper into position. That ended in disaster. It almost ended me. But I'm still here. It is clear that this task will not be accomplished by conventional means. Entry 3. On other topics, I've built quite the base for my tests. I've begun to fill in the area with brick as I had so many holes and tunnels from my excavation of the area. I've noticed some odd insects showing up though. They seem to like the brick. It's been quite a battle to keep the infestation at bay. Something to occupy the time, I suppose. My research isn't going anywhere. Entry 4. It's been quite some time now, I know. But I've had a little time for personal records. But I've had little time for personal records. I've had a breakthrough, a massive one. Some exper uh, exper <laughs> some experiment. Why can't I say that word? Some experimentation with extra dimensional forces has yielded two stable portals to new realms. The first I'm familiar with from university, but the second. It's entirely new to science. I'm sure it must be something like home. I can see the night sky twinkling through. It, it has been so long since I've seen the sky. I have great hopes that tomorrow will be my last day. 
stuck here and I will join my friends and be able to make a contrib great contribution to science with my journals and observations. Archimedes. Ah, oh, it's a long read. But yeah, we went through it. Hopefully you're all still with me. It's a good read though. Uh, should we keep... We'll leave it for now. We're going to have to go back, like I said, and take things back and forth. But yeah, what's that? Archimedes Laboratory. Alright, so we've got a nether portal here, which we'll need to light. I don't think I've got flint still on me. Um, we've got brew stands with potions. We've got loads of goodies in here. Oh, I like this. Sticky pistons, pistons. This is good. We're definitely going to have to come back and grab some of this stuff. Or do I risk another book? How many pages is it? Eight. All right. Um, hmm, what do you want to see? Uh, we will leave this book for now and we'll come back and look at this book some more. Because, yes, there's a lot of content in this area. I wasn't expecting it all. Coal we will definitely take, though. We're going to need the coal. And it's good to see some wood as well. And some iron. Loads of tools. So, yeah. <laughs> more books. All right. Yeah, we're definitely not going to read this all. We will probably read... You know what? We've got pretty far through this stronghold, but I don't want to feel like I'm rushing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video here and we will continue exploring next time so that I don't feel like I'm rushing it. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been James96. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you really enjoyed the episode, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.